Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we're going to have part two of the unique Mantis Q. Forgot what I was reviewing for a second there. So, you'll have seen the first part when I went through everything on this. One thing I forgot to mention when I did the first part, I don't know how, but it does have a SD card slot, obviously, which is on the side here. It does come with a 16 gig SD card, which is something called 4C. Get it, chuck it in the bin and put a decent SD card in, because the one it comes with is sort of rubbish. You'll see drop frames and skip frames on it because it can't handle the speed which is which is not great because this is not a high transfer rate quad which is one of its issues so you'll need to get another SD card for it so flying characteristics amazing this thing flies I could fly this all day you could easily go through the three batteries one after another because this thing flies that great in sports mode it's excellent it really is a challenge in sports mode. If you flick it in a sports mode and just fly it and give it full stick, it's going to shoot really quick. Just remember when you're doing that in GPS, it takes a quite a long time to slow down. Only because of the fact it's doing, I think it's 40 odd miles an hour, it's going to take a little bit of time to slow down. Flying the normal mode is absolutely fine. It goes, it's nice and locked in. The GPS seems decent on it. I had a problem. The app disconnected once when I was in my flight. Simply hit the button, it connected straight back up again. One of the fastest I've ever seen connect again. Literally, hit the button, connected. I've not, when you fly at range, had no issue with break up on the screen whatsoever. The resolution of these sticks feels really, really nice. It's responsive. It does exact small movements, means small movements on the drone, so the resolution's decent. I like the controller. Flight time, really good. Um, I think we're looking at 27 minutes on the first battery. Fantastic on that flight and various flights. You see a small flight coming up that I've got later on. That when I started off the flight, battery must have been 40% or something. Uh, and I landed it and it's still at 24. And so really good on flight time. So here's the thing. The camera, I have no idea what they've, why they've done this. So you're still going to see by the footage. And to be fair, you're going to be fair to the camera. It was in one of the dullest days that... I've filmed in. You're going to see from the GoPro footage how dull it was, so you're going to get grain in any kind of video you do because it's dull. But, why make a drone in 2018 with no Axis gimbal? It just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. As nice as this thing flies, this is not a camera drone. The camera isn't of the quality to get fantastic video. If you've got this and you just want to quick some quick shots of your kids or some quick shots when you're on holiday, it's probably going to be adequate. But that money? I don't get it. You really wouldn't spend that kind of money to get that kind of quality camera. And I remember, I'm on about the full price. The price I paid for it, yeah, it's fine. I'm happy with it for what I paid for it. But if I'd have paid more, no, I wouldn't have been. Remember, I bought this to have some fun with and mainly review. Uh, to see what it was like. I was interested in it. I wanted it when it came out. I just seen some reviews, saw some reviews. M when I say reviews, a lot of people were saying how great it was and how great the camera looked. I never did think the camera looked great on the videos I was watching, but you sometimes get that on videos. So, the camera quality is like I expected. In, in dull days, you're going to get grain, and in sunny days, I bet you're going to get overexposure because that's just the way the camera is. It's a cheap camera with a very cheap sensor in there. But the biggest thing for me is, come on, put a gimbal on the flipping thing. What are you doing unique? You're miles behind everyone else. You had a chance to make a drone. If this drone had a three axis gimbal on, you could have had a real winner here. But what you've done is made uh, a Breeze 2. I'd say it's a Breeze 2. And if I'm being totally honest, I'd need to compare the video footage from a brief to this, and I probably will do one, a comparison video, but it's only fair doing it when the weather gets better. But I'll do a video comparison between this and the breeze, and I don't think you're going to see much difference. So what you're doing is getting a full double breeze that's got far better flight time, don't get me wrong, it's an advantage, and a far better controller. And like I say, at £340, fantastic, with three batteries. If this was £250 with one battery, or £220 with one battery, I still might recommend it because it's a great little flyer. And it makes a great little selfie drone, but that's what it is. But you can fly it at a distance. Uh, the full price, no. The price I paid for it, yeah, I think it's all right. But I don't understand why they did what they did. They had a massive opportunity and blew it. 
you make your own mind up from watching the video it's a very stable little flyer it's fantastically fast it's really good fun to fly it's just got a really average camera thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day